All right, welcome everybody. Drake Hawkins again with you for a stream this time. We're doing some live streaming of Emir. This is going to be uh, Ramble Bumbleberg, and he's going to get in here and start. I did go ahead and test everything. The server operated. We had uh, uh, Shogun. Thank you so much, uh, last time Shogun, for your assistance in setting everything up. Uh, got in long enough to chatter and goof around and uh, make sure that uh, the connection was working and all that. And I had to look around at stuff, but that's where it's ended. I haven't even settled our first town. So, uh, we are going to be going for about a four-hour stream. By about, I mean particularly exactly a four-hour stream. Um, that many minutes. There we go. Um, and then... Uh, uh, the hope is to do this weekly. It'll either be Sundays at about this time, or at this time, or it will be Saturdays after Sheraton finishes his stream on a Saturday evening. So, you guys can let me know uh, at any point if you're interested in those options. That would be fantastic. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Uh, the game, the stream did drop there for a moment. I had uh, had had things started, and then it crashed, so... Uh, so right now, the, uh, I don't know if there is, uh, there is, uh, there is Canapig. Who's Canapig? He's beating me. Yar. All right, so password is Turtle, capital T, U-R-T-L-E. Sunday, because Saturdays is D&D &D day. Well, quirky, I think you might, uh, you might have a fairly substantial vote there. I know you have a fairly substantial vote there. Thank you every, for everything you've done so far. It's amazing. We're going to go ahead and not settle here, actually. I think the tile up here is what I want to look at. So let's let's have a quick couple scouts on a few things before I get started. I don't want to crazy jump the gun here for people who are joining in and starting up. Uh, so you know, this I, I yesterday's shenanigans included me having to try to eventually breaking down and buying a... Uh, a second copy on this uh, on my wife's account so that I could uh, uh, get us a hostable version on the other PC in the house so the options for um, for dedicated server software thing is not quite finished as far as uh, as far as that goes uh, so this is where we started we started in one of the three arid spots that were available at the at the point of uh, Loading up. I don't know if Shogun took the took one of the other ones, but I got a uh, an arid. We are on a Pangea map. Uh, this we got some chickpeas up here. We got a double batch of solid lettuce. Uh, looks like we have a. Do, 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 do. He's in here somewhere. I see you. What is that? Oh, it's just wood. <laughs> uh, he's in here somewhere. I know. There he is. Buffalo tile right there. Fertility is six along these rivers in the arid. It's pretty fantastic. Chinese Sunday. Mm. <laughs> if hubby's hungry and he's getting you Chinese food, I think it's time to uh, to lurk <laughs> or disappear. Either or is worth it. Uh, so this is the starter tile. It's it's okay. Uh, it doesn't have everything I'd like it to have. Uh, we've got uh, we have chickpeas, lettuce. We got bison. That's about it on this tile. So we're gonna pop back out of here. And they always tell you don't. Uh, you have to go get it. Oh, well, that's fine. That's worth the trip. Um, they always tell you, and it'll it'll pop up a message here for me, um, saying it's a bad idea to move here. And if, if indeed it is a bad idea and we get slaughtered by doing so, well, then I guess we'll have to restart the surfer. <laughs> uh, uh, we've got, uh, what do we get? Receive loot to honor. Scavenge the remains, recover what you find, get 15 loot or take 10 honor. I'm honor fades away real darn quick, so I'm not really that interested in it. Interesting. Okay, so we've got uh, we got continental. We're on the edge of the continental here on a river that goes from the arid lands into the continental lands, or maybe it goes from the continental into the arid. I don't know. Can't tell which way the water's flowing, but I can tell that there is cows up here for us to hunt. Thank you. Introduce yourselves, everybody at home. This is cow. This is moo. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to be settling right here, and I will show you why in a moment. I did ha take some time to scout this, because I'm going to be babbling and rambling and doing all those normally normal stuff. Shogun! 
Where did I put the password? Um, uh, I put it in the computer. I typed it in. T U R T L E. The big first T is capital. One of them is, anyways. Arctsack. I don't think this is called Arctsack. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it is uh, Truffleton because that's what we do. I have some ideas for other city names. You guys are going to love them. I, yeah, I generally put the password in the part that says enter password. <laughs> no, is that you didn't. I didn't put the password with the announcement. No, I didn't. I put an announcement that said, come on, join the chat and get the password. If people want to join the stream, they can uh, join the stream and I will hand off the password happily. I, I just want people to actually make a connection because otherwise we get, uh, I, we've had, I've had issues in the past where we've had uh, troublemakers uh, show up and cause grief when we're trying to do multiplayer and that's no fun. So, hopefully it's only the cool people that show up. Like Dr. Kla. That's just such a fantastic name. So. Fantastic. Next time, Gadget. Next time. Mm -mm -mm. Nasty Java. Okay, so this is our magic uh, starting tile. <laughs> Hello! Nichil! Welcome! Glad you made it over to our side of the streamy world my little corner of the universe of the internet so things on my screen will be you'll have to just put up with it they will be a little slow on the booting ups you had to find me did I not put a link to uh, I, I don't on YouTube I don't like um, I don't like posting YouTube with links to twitch um, twitch and YouTube don't like each other in those categories um, the I put a stream uh, a link to uh, I thought I put a link I think I put a link to the uh, to the Twitch account on both sides but anyways I need to uh, not dawdle too too much because I've already killed off a bunch of people so let's get uh, started here we're gonna blast through the basic tutorial stuff by blast through I mean move as quickly as this super awesome computer of mine will allow us to which you know, is probably not very fast at all. There we go. A couple of water things down is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and find our hunting. I think we have two spots for hunting here. I tend to like to do them kind of like this. So I so I know where they are in the top left corner. I think that's it for the, for the food, right? Two meats down there. I don't see any more. Oh, there's our silver patch. Uh, I don't see any others at the bottom. Neat chill, did you get the password? It is turtle with a capital T. Well, one capital T, one small T. It's confusing, I know. Um, Hispazzy. Hispazzy, who's Hispazzy? Welcome to the game, Hispazzy. Put that in there. We'll get a bit of chickpeas going over here. We'll get a oh yeah, baby, chickpeas on two spots. Chickity chickity chicky peas. It is a nice arid river. I'm pretty happy. I played arid river before in a series, and I only oh, well, I actually it was a desert river, so that was even more harsh. But it turned out quite well. Uh, Arid River has the advantage that it tends, I think it tends to spread the fertility a little more. Like, this is three fertility. Look at all this, this crazy fer fertile territory. It's, it's kind of nutty. Uh, mission completed, mission completed. Hispazzi got the first victory points, guys. First discoverer. Already got to sedentism. That's because I've been babbling. That's what happens. Uh, get rid of all this junk. What's the, what the other ones? Economic Pioneer. Getting a free exchange up will give you a point. Largest city of 200 pops. And um, intelligence, population intelligence up to 25. That's our current standard. J -j 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 Jorn 03. 
it's Drake. Uh, Clan is, uh, yeah, Clan Hawkins. Uh, Drake of Clan Hawkins. Ah, from Norway. Nice. This game is Emir. This is a one-man dev team building a, what I would call, uh, having grown up in it, what I would call a combination of uh, one of my favorite games as a kid, Pharaoh, and, uh, you know, the, the, along the Caesar, Caesar 3 sort of uh, genre, that sort of deal. Uh, and that combined with, like, an early early era civilization game. Freeber Freedy, Freddy, Freeber, 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 welcome to the, <laughs> to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, all right. So we are going to have to do a whole spiel of things here. I'm just going to stop. I, I got to stop being distracted, guys. You're all distracting me. Let's go get me killed. I like to put in extra of these, uh, of these tool makers. Two, three, four, even. Stone cutters? How come I can make a stone cutter? I didn't do no tech. I don't have any knowledge. Why do I have stone cutters? Stone cutters not a. Oh no, that's that's the next one. Never mind. Let's do the sow thing with the pottery. Not that we really need it at this point. Uh, so if you're looking for um, excellence, uh, real deep, thick comprehension and understanding of the game, you know your questions answered and. Uh, readily informed on every detail on how to be the best at this game i would highly suggest you talk to somebody else <laughs> because hello hello and welcome um you do start with stone cutters okay um because like i just uh announced to the whole world there i'm uh, very less than fully informed on in all the details of this game past about the copper age that's about as far as I, as far as my little brain can take me. Um, let's go with a tiny little, a tiny little defensive structure here. Uh, like just that. Like I literally just want the smallest little. Oh, we don't have enough wood for it. Okay, fine. Uh, tools. Yes. Tools. No. Not done yet. Here, you. You work. Get people working in there so I can have some tools, please. Uh, so we got the building menu and uh, six different categories. Uh, housing, production, culture, military, government, and infrastructure. Each of these expand as you get new technologies. And I'll try to give a bit of an overview as we go through things here. Little pig picture, I mean. Uh... You like my, you like Ramble Bumbleberg? He's amazing. He's the, uh, he's, he's the very, very epitome of leadership and strength and confidence. You can tell by his picture and how he does his mustache. Uh, so the resources are listed here. We could go and, uh, we're going to set up some, uh, some limits on our food productions so that they try to build a stockpile. Any number you put in here, I'm just going to be bouncing all over the place here. Sorry, guys. Um, if the current stock is below the desired value of 32 units, 25% of my production, that's this, will go down here into the stockpile, which are these. Uh, so I'm setting uh, chickpeas and lettuce at 32, which is actually, these things each hold 16 items down the bottom left, four per slot. You can have four different types of items, like this has some wood and some... Uh, what is a stone in it uh, or you can have uh, everything of the same kind but one individual quarter of this thing one tile of this thing can only hold one item one resource type all right and uh, I want to finish up this wall right away um, like this is a stupid tiny little structure it's probably even too tiny and we'll put a little gate in it there you go little uh, little spot for the fellows we have a mission I believe to do a militia. Defenders of Truffle. The that's not that's not their names. Oops. That's not their names. Their names are The Mushroom Men. That's right. They're the mushroom men. 
And they're going to be uh, ranged rock throwers. We need 10 of them. That's what we needed for this mission. Uh, when we do that, we want to immediately click on strategic tool. I know we're going to get spammed with stuff here right away. Yep. Strategic tool. That brings a slight overview, different overview control to the map. So I want to click here to add a new defensive zone. I'm going to put it inside, start it inside my, def my giant fortress and uh, drag out and it will fill the whole space of there. And then I can take this unit, right click and drag. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can here, but right click and drag will tell them where they're going to stand when they call when they get called to arms. Okay, that's basically it. Now, over here you get to choose the different stance that they're going to have and if there's an appropriate zone associated with it. So we want him in defensive zone and on defensive zone 1. Click okay there. No, I did that wrong. Did I? No, I didn't. He's in the right defensive zone. Perfect. So if somebody comes to fight, he'll stand inside that little red space and hurl giant rocks at him from a very short range. All right, next. Don't even know where we are. Sedentary life. That is our first tech. So here's how it works for those of you who are new to this idea. Uh, who is my nation? You spawned on tin. That must have hurt. Um... My nation is the Kingdom of the Mire. Uh, this is sedentism. So, uh, on one evening by the tribe's fire campfire, Grookey Lazy Snort spoke in these words. We have everything we need here. Yeah, he's a lazy snort. Uh, what if we stopped moving around like the ancients and stayed, in a good, uh, stayed for good in this territory? I'm tired of mounting and dismounting all these tents every day. By staying here we, in the same place, we could accumulate more tools and more things without having to worry about carrying them. He's definitely lazy. Laziness is the mother of invention or something like that. All right, uh, seven farmers in Truffleton. We, uh, each of them associates a certain amount of research. We can have up to 10 farmers on this. Anyone past that is going to give, I, uh, off the top of my head, I think it's about a fifth as effective on the research points. It's going to cost us two research, uh, two knowledge points, and I'll explain those in a second, and take 20 seconds and be 100% successful. Uh, server is running on regular time. We will not be messing with that. Ah, oh, first builder, how dare you? Um, I'm not likely to get any of these points. Who is Hispazzy? Let us know in the chats. Get, uh, get in there and get some, uh, conversations going. This is not a uh, crazy all-out killer. Ah, Dr. Claw. Alright, everybody kill Dr. Claw. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm joking, Dr. Claw. I love you. Uh, sedentary life is now a thing. Gift, gift of friendship in Truffleton. Well, thank you. We got loot from flax. <gasps> really? Yes and please. Where's my flax? Flax, flax, flax. Zero. Give me 32 of those at least. That's fantastic. I don't I don't think they'll be used for anything. Anyways, new idea. Sedentism is uh, now successful. Excellent. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not paying attention to these at, at all as I'm doing them. I'm just yammering away and not thinking. Uh, what I'd like to s typically do it, when I'm building houses now is to choose the fertility overlay and put your housing on really crappy spots. That's my general thought. Like, this is two fertility. We got enough three fertility stuff. We'll probably never use the two fertility housing or spacing. So, I'm going to probably, you know, go up, say, here maybe and plop some houses down. Let's do that. Let's come in uh, in here. This stuff is clay which, or uh, gravel, which is actually useful for something. But I'm going to put in a big uh, couple batches of these houses. I think this time we're going to do the five by five builds. I've done it before in different, various different ways. None of this, this is all aesthetics. It does not matter where your houses are. There's no need for roads or anything to function between them. Their proximity to their living from between houses and storage or anything, none of that matters. It's all very, very, very loosey-goosey on that topic. Uh, I think I put in two water things, which I want to get rid of one. Because uh, part of the techs require certain... Um, certain things that prerequisites certain events or certain situations certain criteria i guess is the right word build the first house first explorers we need to go ahead and build our first army formation we'll plop him down over here and he can be the 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 grasshoppers champions of truffleton wow they are that is really overstretching my friends 
very, very um, optimistic. <laughs> the first one, so we set up the added carriers. It told us to get three carriers, and it told us to get ten warriors. So we will do that. Spawned on tin. Your avionis. Well, I'm about to look at the map, so uh, we need a population of 200. Got it. Uh, first hunt, growing the tribe. Cool. Now, are those cows still around? Hey, hey, where'd you go? Moo and friends. All right, uh, army. I'm going to actually go ahead and recruit another batch of warriors. Let's say another 10 of them, because I want to make sure that we don't slaughter a bunch of our people in the process. What do we got here? Nine of them and seven of those. I'm just trying to be as intelligibly safe. Oh, wait a second. We need, we need some time to pass. These guys have no action points. So they're getting 30 per minute because they're sitting in the capital. So... Avionis. All right, I have I've scouted some of these. I've got them mostly written down. I haven't scouted this one or these three up here. So let's. Yeah, we got problems. We got housing or we got people problems because these are guys are doing all this now. It'll take them nine to get there and fifteen to hunt. So and then probably presumably about another nine to get back. So we'll have a look at this map where the cows are standing. Always put housing on poor fertility. Yes. Uh, you got an idea from Leo Frigg. Who is Leo Frigg? Uh, if you guys are joining the game, let me know. Um, the, me, Dr. Claus, Leo Frigg of, what was, what was the funky name? I don't remember. You, you definitely took over the, uh, um, took over the points board already. Look at this, look at this crazy man. You are Leo Frigg of Hispazi. He's a little spazzy. I understand. That makes perfect sense, sir. Uh, he has three victory points. Winning the day. Uh, this is, These cows here aren't a harvestable uh, spot. You couldn't find a tile here that said cows, most likely. Unless they happen to be standing on them. But that is the herd that's wandering around. This is quite nice. A little continental uh, spot with a river. It's got some... Oh, a baby. Oh, a baby, baby. Cotton and uh, grain. It's got chi um, deer. I love the cotton and tons of fields for it. Oh, we got some apple trees down here. If my, yeah, if, if my eyes don't deceive me. I think we have fish on this tile. This is a beautiful tile. I am very pleased. I'm not disappointed in the condition of this space around me. There's a good and a nice little citadel there. I'm not sure if that is actually... Oh, and more weight up top. That's all right. Can I click on fortification if it will let me? Yeah, it's decent. I mean, it would take a bit of walling. It's not It's not entirely sealed in, but it's pretty nice. I do like that he's added that three, 3D, 2D option. There's fish here, which is also always a great boost. Anytime you can get fish, it's fantastic. Because if you look at your... I can actually go back out here. Uh, if you look at your uh, food, just picked random. Um, if you look at your food supplies in your city, so select your city and go to your inventory. Man, I got, ooh, throwing sticks. Yes, please. Like yesterday. That's my favorite early tech. Uh, everybody should get them. I don't know how people are going to play on this server, but uh, everybody should get them. Um we have chickpeas there, javelins, good, good, good. Okay, so you look at your food, and the lettuce, ideal need is 4.8. Chickpeas, ideal need 7.4, apparently. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why that is the case. That's weird. Maybe because they're getting none? I don't know. Um, but these two are, uh, they're a harvestable crop, okay? Meat and fish are another category of harvestable crop. So the more fish you have, the less sort of it sort of like takes care of some of the reduces the need for meat basically uh they kind of work together i guess is the right way to put that uh let's move over here first and see what that does to us oh hello what hey what there was a barbarian there and he vanished they were scared off just by um hopping back in yeah i apologize if it uh does funny things on that it shouldn't but 
We had it running stable for an hour solid yesterday, so I'm pretty sure if there's any issues, it may be just um, me being Canadian. Um, all right, so we're going to hunt here, but we also have the option to um, claim this territory for Truffleton. Ta-da! Claimed for the... I claim this land in the name of the Maya, the great Maya, and the Lord Ramble Bumbleberg. Excellent. Now we will defeat the foe that guards it. Da 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 Smashy smashy. You're not even hitting them. Right about there. It looks like he's spanking the cow. Don't spank the cow. Just hunt him. All right. We're going to go back into... Actually, yeah. We're going to go back into town and make sure we're getting something useful done here. Spank, spank. He's thwarting the cattle. Throttling them with his very large club. Do you guys generally, I know Dr. Claw did a randomness um, version on the uh, the naming. Do you guys ne normally um, do random naming or do you typically go with uh, specifics? Like like Ramble Bumbleberg, for instance. Do I, I always use the same names. Uh, let's put these guys all up to critical. Treaty proposal from Snort Snortsum. Hello, Nika. Who is Snort Snortsum? I must. Oh, hello, Shogun. Wow, wow, what? Shogun. Uh, who is this uh, Snort Snortsum? I I know I know no. Uh oh, did I just? Delete. Did I just cancel your request? I don't know how these things work. Hunting companions. It's been a long time, guys. Sorry. Uh, oh, we have no hunters because of uh, people off hunting. <laughs> Let's get those boys back. The tomb of Nehekar. Nehekara. Whoa, what the heck? What is this? What is this? What is this? Stealing my turf. The nerve of some people. Alright, get down here. You stole my turf. That is my that is my mountain woods. <laughs> uh reveal the map territory okay, we'll we'll reveal some map zone. Hello, Lamia. I have scouted thee with my magic scoutness. Uh, let's claim that spot, please. Lovely. Uh, that's barren. There's some there's over there. Some there. Mm -hmm. Bison, lettuce, chickpeas. We've got that already. Ostriches in the... Uh, in this. Oops, that was the wrong tile. That was definitely the wrong tile, but I need this one then. That's the one I want, right? Yes. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba uh so come over here then. And if you will, sir, come back up. I'm gonna get rid of most of these guys and their things and stuff. Unload. I should make sure right away to go check their um, to go check the layout, make sure we've got enough storage for them. The tool. Okay. You come over here, and then I want you to, oops, unclaim. Mine is two honor. You jerk machine. I didn't mean to unclaim or actually, I accidentally claimed a tile, which I did not mean to do. Uh, oh well. Um. Alright, so you've done your thing. You're going to go in here and you're going to disband here. And I'm going to look at going into the city. And then I'm going to look at that treaty. Are those cows still there after you spank them? They still show up in the map. Uh, I didn't spank them all. We only we only thwarted a few of them. 
because uh, the hunters will generally not um, let's see if they can hold say five and a half cows worth of meat and leather they'll only kill six cows they won't kill the seventh cow that's the general my general understanding of things there uh, okay so hunters need to be uncritical right research is going all over the place do I have enough storage for all this meat I probably don't I'm doing terrible at paying attention to what's going on here so let's uh Try to get things at least semi-functional here, Drake. Uh, do we have clay? Of course we do, but where is it? Clay, please. There's going to be fine. I know it's right on clay, but we won't need the other clay for a while. Uh, oh, laggy, laggy, laggy. That's all right. I'm okay with the lag as long as you guys can be stable in the play. All right, so that is critical. I like to put all my food to critical. A lot of people say that's the thing to do. I tend to agree. Um, starving the people tends to cause them to be mm, dead, I think is the word. 54% of our needs are met. Uh, do we have the water idea yet? We have the pottery idea. We have the we hunted seven cows. Uh, no, see, we've only killed five of them, and that gave us all the meat, all the loot we could carry. Which is fine. First hunt mission completed. Got the hunting companions. Treaty proposal from this fantastic fellow right here. And uh, I should start reading these. But it's a peace treaty. Forbids war between treaty members. A rite of passage between us both. I like that. A nice, free, safe place to be to begin with. I'm okay with this. I approve. Um, I don't know what other servers uh, tend to do as far as like uh, expectations and conflict and stuff for real-time servers. I know I've played a lot of uh, RTS games back in the day and there was like, you know, the five minute no rush rules and all that sort of jazz that everybody experienced. Uh, up here, if you're interested, uh, slight distraction, uh, is the uh, deconstruct tool if you don't know about it. Uh, you can right click it to bring up the list of things left click then and you've got the uh, X beside the ones that it will do so this I'm going to go ahead and delete this I'm deleting the storage there and poof the storage units start getting deleted the resources get shuffled around automatically to other storage or thrown on the ground somewhere uh, do I like fish sticks do I like fish are they are they what's his name the cool ones uh, our treaty has been approved. Yay! Um, we have dudes, the mushroom men, who are seemingly less than happy at the moment. That is unfortunate. I do not know what honor does. Can somebody tell me? Uh, if you're mainly aiming for single player. Uh, the, sing the new solo mode. Uh, I did a seven part series. The last one comes out to right now. Actually, just went out when I started the stream. Uh, episode 7. Well, that's not supposed to be on there. Um, that's not a, a... That's a YouTube subscription. Um, I, sorry, if those are popping up. Negative honor eventually leads to loyalty lowering. Okay. No big deal. It will, di it will dissipate eventually, I'm sure. Or it used to, anyways. Um, single player is, uh, is a lot of fun in the game. Uh, if you want to just kind of build things up, he's fixed it. So there is no chance now that, uh, that you won't get a tech. Like you, you can't get tech locked in single player anymore. It used to be a thing that, it, that there was a ch percentage chance that a certain vital, important tech just would never spawn. Now that's no longer an issue, but, uh, yeah. What else, what else can I say about it? Single player I've enjoyed. Uh, on, the, on a number of occasions. Uh, the current series that I've got out right now, I'm going to do the fish sticks thing. Current series I've got right out, out right now was a five part or seven part let's look at the current version of the game. And uh, it is it is single player. And it's, uh, I believe that one was in the tropics. It's a lot of fun. Got a couple new techs coming in here. 
Got to keep our population fed and watered. And right now, I'm letting them be low on water because we don't have the technology for wells yet. Uh, tech, uh, oddly enough, is over here. We have 29 available tech slots. I don't think we have the, uh, the ability to... We do. We have the Elder Circle. Okay. So let's throw an Elder Circle in here. That's going to give us... Uh, do I want it up there? Yeah, probably. No, probably not. Let's make ourselves a little, I don't know, a little commercial squabble up over there. There we go. Uh, how are we doing on hammers and stuff? Not a lot. Okay. Well, we don't want them all working. We're not, we're not going to have enough. Well, maybe we will. No, we're going to be out of flint very soon, but we'll let them keep going a little bit because they're making three a turn. But single player, you have the option right up here to change the speed one times, two times, or four times, which lets you really jump past a lot of the uh, a lot of the down times. Right now, we have population growth with only fifty three percent of their needs met, uh, primarily because of lack in uh, water and food. If we look, there are sixty five percent water access for most of them. Uh, some variations on the food access but and, and water access, but generally I look at the sows. That's where my kind of uh, uh, focal point is on that. Uh, negative honor eventually leads to there's no way to restore it easily. You just have to wait till it rises. Yeah. Um, it goes towards zero all the time, yeah, so that's why I didn't take the plus two honor thing when I had an event. I'd rather take the 15 wood than plus two honor that by the time honor matters, if it ever does to me, then it's going to already have dissipated, so. Uh, we should go ahead and make the weapons maker at this point, I think, uh, to get some javelins going. I could do stone for on low priority for now, I think. Where is my stone? Anyways, I don't remember seeing stone, to be honest. Uh, uh, there's a tiny little speckle of it in the corner. We could get 0.5. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We could get 0.33 over there. Houston, we have a problem. Don't we have... Oh, yeah, there we go. I thought we had a stone pinnacle somewhere. There we go. That, that guy right there can be uh, our low priority, and this, uh, this priority will determine what they house first when there's available porcos. Right now we have no inactives. We have 38 jobs being requested and only 34 filled. All 35 people are employed. How do you? How are you guys doing for your start spots? Did, did people find uh, decent ones? Any critical bugs at the moment? Um, there's some annoying bugs. Uh, nothing that I know of, if anybody else has any feedback. Um, but yeah, annoying ones, yeah. Uh, like sometimes people get stuck in endless battles. Yeah, it's a multiplayer glitch we've had before. Uh, yeah, the, the, there is a few bizarre sort of, uh, quirky things. Remember, it is a one-man dev, uh, show here, so, um, it's not surprising that there's a little bit of, of oddities still, but... Again, it's very, very uh, slow process of the development of the game, but it is steady. He's he, he's full time doing it for all of us. So, well, mostly for himself because that's awesomeness. But uh, so the weapons maker is building now. He's uh, this is how building works. Uh, construction either comes from builders or self constructing for early buildings. We get one every three seconds on this particular setup, so we have 15 seconds left to go. Uh, later, you get the builders. Uh, technology to actually make builders and that uh, boosts that substantially uh, interestingly enough I like that he's done this with the techs a lot of people I've heard complain about this right now we have uh, this hunter and we can upgrade him it would cost us uh, one hammer two wood and three javelins which I don't have yet we're, we're gonna start making them shortly um, but the upgrade wouldn't improve the productivity of the place at all it would just reduce the number of workers so the independent productivity is increased by basically redu reduce uh, increase efficiency by 25 percent which turns out to only have three people doing the same work that four did to me that is a win uh, you guys are going to need to hire up so that I can get your uh, workers going 
I do want javelins kind of high priority until we get enough to feel safe at home. Do we have any javelins right now? We got a couple. And we're making 0.8 every, what is that, 30 seconds, I think? Freddy, have you have you got the game? This one takes so freaking long to make. Um, so this is the officials, and they are old pig officials, so only old pigs can fill this role. So I'm going to set that one to critical to make sure they're not uh, dawdly. I just clicked on the map instead of the info. You haven't bought it yet. Oh, okay. Wow, Lami. Lami, you had a you had a change of change of graphics. Ah, fish sticks. Fantastic. Um, I want to go back in here because I didn't actually want to come out. Oh, if you look on the top left, my honor has now switched. Uh, officials are not old pigs, but the elder council is actually only old pigs that can house it. If you have 50 officials, but you only have two old pigs in your, in your city, you will not be able to house the, uh, you'll not be able to staff this elder council. Uh, normally... Officials is a role, but this one has officials and in brackets old pigs. They actually have to be old pigs to house this one. Or to staff this one, which may be a problem for me. I have four old pigs. There we go. Swine Empire in Kelly. Excellent. Well, if you got it now, you can join us. Uh, but we're going to be doing this weekly, so uh, you can check out my uh, on YouTube, on Clan Hawkins on YouTube. I've got a, a number of videos on there, and uh, there's a couple other guys that uh, Sheraton does some. Uh, well, he's just got some, like, uh, VODs of his uh, older stream stuff. I wish he'd do his current ones, and he did one or two tutorials. Um, there definitely, there should be more content out for this stuff. I like it. Love the game. It's a concept that I've uh, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, this is something I've wished to have for a long time. So, we now have the three old pigs working there. Uh, apparently now we have only one old pigs. But we have three old pigs working here. Alright. Um, it just went from four old pigs down to three, so I'm not sure if it somehow pulls them out of the population there. If I look on my, uh, in my government tab and go to knowledges, we now have 300 as libraries here and 30 from our culture. So one-tenth of your culture gives you, uh, you get one-tenth of your culture in knowledge use points, uh, knowledge storage points, I guess, and then uh, 300 from the library. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I do the real time now and uh, probably gonna stay with Sundays. That seems like it'll work best for our family. Um, and Sheraton does a Saturday at the, about the same time, from about 1 o'clock central to about 5 o'clock central. Uh, sometimes, give or take a few minutes here or there. Uh, first hour, then a single player. <laughs> uh, bacon's back on the menu, boys. It's horrible, Drake. Horrible. Why am I not getting the water, the wells knowledge? That is a little confusing. Uh, so this is the chieftain of the mire. This is Snort Snortson. I can interact with him. View all chronicles from this character. Snort, do you have chronicles? What are chronicles? Oh. Messaging snort snort nope don't want to do oh proposed treaty oh hello uh-huh uh-huh right past uh mm -hmm. peace treaty uh mm -hmm. ideas I have uh, no ideas to give sorry whoa it's the Illuminati pigs careful everybody he's the Illuminati pigs Quirky welcome back We from the tomb don't care about the living. We only want to give everyone immortality. Excellent, I'll take it. Sheraton, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for reminding me how cool this game is. Um, you'll find me and give me well digging. Yay! 
Uh, generally, early on in the game, unless you know that you've got some sort of conflict with somebody, I find that generally early on in, in multiplayer, you want to... Uh, you want to be one of the ones willing to trade uh, at least general life techs. I don't know if, uh, if everybody agrees that uh, in trading everything, but uh, early on I'd say it's important to be generous with your technologies with trading because you're going to end up finding something that somebody else has that you need, and if you're stingy with it... Say I was being stingy, I'm like, no, you can't have my wells, and then or my javelins tech or whatever and then the guy that I say that to ends up getting a tech that I can't get I played on a multiplayer server the one time and it was about two it was a persistent there was about two dozen people that played on it and the first group that got uh, agriculture was a group of three guys and one of them got agriculture shared it with the other two and then offered it to other people to join their empire so you could only get it if you joined their empire so people were like, sure, I'll join, whatever. And so the server was almost within... By the early Copper Age, the server was entirely engulfed in three-quarters-ish of the population of the of the continent, of the server, was one nation, one empire, under the one leadership of the one dude. And I don't know if that's currently possible at this tech, or this uh, version of the game, but he was... Uh, they, they owned... It wouldn't share the tech, and basically, the more people that get a tech, there's a kind of a less likelihood that other people are going to get it spontaneously. And there is a password. It is Turtle, capital T, U R T L E. It'll probably change again next week. But... Trade makes the world go round, but military tech is okay to keep. Uh, not a bad idea. The age of porcos. Uh, someone tried to do that to me as well. I invaded him and said, give me or die. <laughs> I like it. I was, I was, you know, they were sitting there with, uh, with bows and stuff and I had rock throwers and it wasn't, it wasn't a very amicable situation. Drake got his butt, well, not his butt kicked because I just laughed at it. I'm like, okay guys, if you're going to get a server that starts out by by entirely isolating any new player that doesn't jump to join you, well, what the heck's the point? <laughs> if you're playing on a game in a multiplayer server that's supposed to be conflict-based, like there's supposed to be not not even not conflict, just competition, uh, and you go ahead and ignore and delete any option for competition, then I feel like you're unlikely to get a very vibrant community. Do, 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 uh, we will keep a couple of these guys on high priority just to make sure they're constantly going. We will take this fine fellow and put him down to low priority. And this fine fellow, no, this fine fellow can go to high priority. So I kind of have a three tier idea with these. I want these guys to run, uh, when they've got the option, when I have the extra manpower. That one can go regular and so on uh, and we'll just more people will come in as the surplus population happens right now we have no surplus we're actually 10 people short of a full load water in the ground look at that I have an idea since we talked about it so much but I can't use it we have the idea now though so I'm gonna go ahead and build these um, these water collectors so wells uh, cost people to man, which is okay sometimes, but not necessarily okay all the time. I hate that it's now hard to put these things on the corner points. And I don't know that I can... Uh, can I get away with that? Oh, I can. Okay, good. How about... Oh, no, this would be too close. Oh, maybe not. There we go. I guess we can fit just across the river from each other. I like putting a ton of these things down. There's not really... To me, there's never really a point to not have overkill on the... Uh, on the water gatherers. You can always just delete them later. They're, they cost nothing. They take no manpower to operate. And and so on and so forth. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. We got way more than we need here. Uh, do we have the hammer for the fishes? What? What? That's three fish spots? Oh, baby. Uh, okay. 
Drake is a happy camper. Very happy camper. So that. And then. See, now that's occupied. Over here is not. Oh my goodness. Seriously? I thought that was two. And it's three. That's a big deal. I'm short on hammers, though. My goodness. Triple fish. Woohoo! Six fish spots you have on official two? That's wild. A full ham on water collector. <laughs> Ouch. Booerns. Yeah, you won. You got it. You out dad joked me today. Thank you. <laughs> There's no shortage of cheesy, cheesy jokes in this game. Making some hammers. I need more javelins than that. Jeepers. Can I speed up the time? <laughs> okay. How are we doing? We still have, we still have people living in the slums. So about that, since things are so slow, um, households. Well, look at that stacking stones. Thank you. Uh, households are um, a essentially a family unit. Uh, so there's going to be one one porco that would be a male porco and one sow, and then can include up to five or six piglets in that and one or more um, elders in a household. So I just look at these numbers up here and I think of sows as approximately um, you know I would say that's 80 plus percent of the number 80 to 90 percent of the number of households that we have because there'll be some single sows there'll be some single porcos um, but that pretty much covers it. So I would estimate we have about 50 households in the village. Uh, which kind of plays in with what we've got here, because I've got, what, 35, 37 or so houses, and we've got three or four households that are in slums. So the slums provide a uh, um, one life quality and minus five health. Go into a proper house, level one, and it goes to five quality and to a plus five health, so plus seven points over the previous and plus four points on life quality. So that's important, because that all determined... All plays into a variety of things, but mostly to your um, to your overall knowledge growth and whatnot. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go in here and oops, no, nope, not move it. I'm gonna go in here and shut you off because people are working there on low qual low requirements in spite of other things that are more important. Uh, this is also going to go off. I need to save up the save some population. We have two inactives. Which means I may be able to there may be text that I can do here stacking stones is inactive needs some hammers okay wells it requires inactives and needs hammers gotcha how are we doing on uh, you guys huh no you know what fine we will we will make no not critical high we'll make hammers happen because that's holding us up right now so we'll make hammers the thing of the day uh, let's see. Each of those guys per with two workers is producing 1.2 flint. So we have uh, 4.8 4 flint being produced there. These guys are at full work. No, nope, usage 90%, so you don't have quite enough. You'll be two to produce one hammer. So that's 4.8. We will. We can have the third one going. So if I make those guys high... And this one, leave him back on the low. He'll use up the surplus, I think, is how that'll work. If we have the staffing for it. Um, but javelins, huh? Javelins. Yeah, we need them too. Oh, we need everything. Thanks for chopping by, for stopping by, and for the follow, Freddy. Appreciate it. You missed the F F. Stream, F F stream, F F. Uh, Freaky Friday stream. Freeber, thanks for coming by, mate. Uh, so, I, if I have the javelins, I could actually do this. 
That's a thing. Man, so slow on the resources. Um, population's okay. Are we doing the the production of... Yes, we now have a plus two there and two hammers coming in. That's all right. We need a lot of time to let this tri tri trickle on through. Fish pigs, I think we might go critical on the fish pigs. I love that we make so much meat and fish and stuff, we could actually not utilize it all and have surplus. That's fantastic. I'm really thinking we probably just go critical on all the food production. Force. What do you guys think? I'm thinking we force, we focus entirely at this point on getting food production. Put every bit of resources focused on that. I'm going critical on all the food makers. Keep our food supplies and our water supplies up to keep this going, then our population will grow at max rate. This is every three minutes. We get 1.5 new actives every three minutes. So it is a slow process, this game, even on this fast mode. Uh, Founder's Fortune. Yes, I did a, I did a Founder's Fortune stream, uh, just to uh, have a look at some of the changes. That is part of today's very long... I hope this coffee lasts all day. I'm going to have to go brew like six more pots, because I've got a lot of recording to make for you guys for the coming week. We're going to be doing Founder's Fortune this week's seven-day um, seven sampler. It's going to be Founder's Fortune, because it just came out... Um, Thursday, Friday morning, Friday afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, but it came out Friday in, uh, um, I have a surplus of lumber that is too high. Uh, it came out Friday on early access, which is awesome. So it's not just, uh, it's not just the Steam early access, it's not just the, uh, the, the free version the, not free version. The uh, what's it called? Uh, the pre-release version. This is now early access. There was a like testers version that I played last time, and it's been substantially improved. Very very short order. It went from from uh, from basic to already upgraded pretty quickly. Now why are we not getting javelins? Am I just being too impatient on this? It says we're making point eight, but are we? I feel like maybe we are, and I'm just being cranky. I'll have to make the Founder's statue until I get yours. Did you, uh, you, um, greenlit that game, didn't you? Quirky? 15 agricultural products, and it's lettuce. Well, uh, I kind of wish it was something we didn't have, but that is actually quite good because that gives us much closer to our... That's 15 points closer to our 32, and once we're there, then it's kind of like we get 25 more percent uh, harvest, which is awesome. So right now they have a supply of enough of something because they're all... Look at that. 100%. You'll never see it again, guys. 